Ever wondered why your FPS looks high but the game still feels choppy? Why audio pops when your GPU spikes? Or why your mouse feels like it's dragging through mud? That's not just bad netcode, it's Windows DPC latency. Today, I'll expose five hidden steps to reduce DPC latency, kill micro stutters, and finally make your system feel as smooth as it should. Step one. Identify and kill bad drivers. Device Manager Cleanup Most DPC, Deferred Procedure Call Latency, comes from misbehaving drivers, typically network adapters, audio devices, and storage controllers. Even a single outdated or conflicting driver can spike latency, causing stutters or micro-freezes in games. Step A. Inspect drivers via Device Manager. Press Win plus X, then choose Device Manager. Expand these key categories, network adapters, sound, video, and game controllers, and storage controllers. Right-click each device per properties and check the Events Driver Details section. Check for old drivers, especially Intel, Realtek, or Killer Nix. Duplicate entries, like multiple WAN mini ports, ghost audio devices, or old Wi-Fi adapters. Pro tip, if you game on Ethernet, consider disabling Wi-Fi adapters. They're often culprits for unnecessary DPC latency. Step B, clean up and disable. In Device Manager, disable or uninstall any drivers you identified as problematic. For duplicates, right-click Disable Device rather than uninstalling initially, so you can roll back if needed. If you notice stutter improvement, consider updating the driver from the manufacturer's site to the latest stable WHQL version. Step 2. Force High Precision Event Timer HPET, Control Windows uses system timers to schedule tasks and handle interrupts. If these timers are mismanaged, your CPU can experience micro stutters even when your frame rate looks fine. This is especially common in systems where TSC, Timestamp Counter, and HPET, High Precision Event Timer, conflict. Step A. Check Current Timer Status. Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Run bcdedit slash enum. Look for the following entries. Use Platform Clock, Use Platform Tick. These indicate whether HPET or Dynamic Ticks are being forced by Windows or BIOS. Step B. Disable Forced HPET, usually smoother for gaming. Many modern CPUs handle timing better with TSC instead of HPET. To remove Forced HPET and let Windows auto-manage timers, run this removes forced HPET, letting your CPU's native timers handle interrupts more efficiently. Often results in smoother frame times and reduced DPC-induced microstutter. Step C. Optional, enable HPET, if needed. Some audio devices, certain older games, or professional DAW setups benefit from HPET. To force HPET, run Test this only if you notice audio crackles or scheduling glitches. Benchmark input latency after enabling to see which setting gives the best responsiveness. Step D. Reboot and test. Always restart your PC after making changes. Run a short gaming session or use tools like LatencyMon to check DPC latency. Compare before and after results, smoother mouse input, Fewer tiny freezes and more consistent frame times indicate success. Step 3. Fix Network Driver DPC Spikes Interrupt Moderation plus RSS Network interface card drivers are among the most common culprits for DPC latency spikes, especially in online games where every millisecond counts. Windows often buffers packets or offloads processing to a single core which can create micro stutter even if your ping looks fine. Step A. Tweak NIC Advanced Settings. Open Device Manager, Network Adapters, right-click your Active Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter, Properties. Go to the Advanced tab. Adjust the following properties. Interrupt Moderation. 
disabled. Prevents the NIC from batching packets, so each packet is processed immediately. Receives side scaling, RSS, enabled. Allows multiple CPU cores to handle incoming packets instead of bottlenecking a single core. Receive buffers, 512 to 1024, higher, equals smoother packet processing, but slightly more memory usage. Large send offload, IPv4 and IPv6, disabled. Prevents the NIC from offloading packet assembly to the driver, which can introduce micro latency. Tip, if you use Wi-Fi, these settings may be slightly different depending on your vendor. Ethernet usually benefits more from aggressive tweaks. Step B, reinforce with registry tweaks. Open registry editor or WinR to regedit. Navigate to create a D word 32 bit, name, disable task offload, value one. This disables hidden offload tasks that your NIC driver might perform in the background, which can spike latency under heavy network load. Step C, reboot and test. Restart your PC to apply the changes. Use latency mon or in-game tools to monitor DPC latency. You should notice smoother packet delivery, fewer micro stutters, and more consistent ping during high traffic scenarios. Step four, stop Windows power management from hurting DPC. Windows aggressive power saving features can quietly throttle your drivers, causing unexpected DPC latency spikes. Even though these features save tiny amounts of power, they can interfere with USB, network, and PCIe devices, all critical for smooth gaming. Step A, disable device level power management. Open Device Manager. Expand Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right-click each USB root hub, Properties, Power Management tab. Uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Repeat the same process for Network Adapters, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, PCIe Express Root Port. Pro Tip. Some high-end NICs and audio interfaces can still sporadically enter low power states if this isn't unchecked. This tweak ensures full responsiveness during gaming. Step B, registry level system override. To enforce system-wide high performance and prevent Windows from trying to save microwatts, open command prompt as administrator and run the following command. This disables fast startup and hibernation tricks that can interfere with DPC scheduling. Ensures that devices stay awake and ready to respond immediately. Step C, reboot and verify. Restart your PC to apply changes. Use latency mon or similar tools to confirm that your USB, PCIe, and network devices are no longer contributing to DPC spikes. And there you go, the real stutter killer, fixing DPC latency. We cleaned up bad drivers, tuned timers, optimized NIC interrupts, stopped windows from throttling devices, and even adjusted BIOS plus Windows scheduling. The result? No more random stutters, no more crackling audio, no more input delay spikes. If this fixed your gameplay, let me know in the comments which driver was your biggest culprit. And don't forget, Hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next hidden Windows performance tweaks that no one else shows you.